Okay, thank you for your time, Dominic. How are you today? Good, mate. You? Yeah, great, thank you. Obviously, the, the boxing world has applauded Cal for like, the coverage he's shown to take this fight. I mean, from yourself and Cal, you must believe you're going to win this fight. So, is it a courageous effort from yourself, or is it just the fact that it's just another day's, day's work for Cal? There's no, there's no point. You know, Kill's an unbeaten fighter. There's a, there's a reason why you're an unbeaten fighter, and that's because you like to win. Cool. You understand? And even when he's been up against it, in fights, he's always pulled it off and come through. You know, Carson Jones, bit of a blip there. Yeah. You know, for the last five rounds, he was fighting on empty, broken nose, pulled himself through it. Yeah. When he went to America against Sean Porter, you know, you look back over the reports all coming out before he boxed him. Sean Porter's a mini Mike Tyson, he's knocked out uh, Molly Nage, he's beat Devin Alexander, Kilbrook's gonna get smoked, he's gonna be too strong, he's gonna gas. Mm. Kilbrook beat him. Yeah. And then, you know, the word was, well, Sean Porter wasn't that good. Then Sean Porter goes and beats, you know, a good couple of fights, he beat Broner, he's had some wins since, he had a good fight against Thurman, put up a yeah. good performance, it was neck and neck. So, you know, as an unbeaten fighter, this is not like Kill's got, a, you know, a, one or two losses on his record, like Khan did. Yeah, you know, yeah. taking a fight with Canelo, it was an obvious thing for Khan because he had a couple of defeats. Well, another defeat won't matter. So once you've been beat once and twice, yeah. well, getting beat for the third time is not as bad. Yeah, the first loss is always the worst. Yeah. So, you know, it's got to be calculated. Why would be, why would Kelbrook be taking this fight if he thought he was going to lose? He wouldn't. Yeah, yeah I mean, a lot of people say we've, we've going to argue. He cuts the ring off very well. Now, Cal laterally, like skill-wise, he, he moves very well. He's got great footwork, which is well known for the guys that come out of your gym. Is he going to need more than just that lateral movement? Is he looking to, to hold the centre of the ring and push Gennady back? You know, we're not going to give the game plan away at the minute, but, you know, uh, is a smart fighter. If he can walk you back, he'll walk you back. If he has to stand and fight in the middle of the ring, he'll stand and fight in the middle of the ring. But, you know, I think it's a big mistake for any fighter who fights uh, Golovkin to, to take a backward step, you know, continually through the fight. Um, you know, it's, it's letting him do what he wants to do. So, you know, Kel's got good footwork, he can punch. You know, realistically, has, has Golovkin ever been hit full on with, with some decent power for me? Probably no. not. You know, you know, Martin Murray gave him a decent fight. I don't think Martin Murray's physically a big puncher. I think he's a physically strong guy, but he's not a massive, massive puncher. Yeah, you know, yeah. Daniel Gila would be, he's not a massive puncher. Yeah. Uh, Lemieux would be boxed. Yeah, he, he was touted as, as, as a decent puncher, but realistically, where'd he, where'd he be? Yeah, no, of course, of course. I mean, Cal's timing is impeccable, though. He's shown that in his fight. I mean, you, as you said there, Gennady does get hit. He's not been hit flush, but he does get hit. Now, for Cal, you said about the fear factor. Fear can make you a better fighter. Now, is there a fast start important in this fight? Just because Gennady might come into this thinking, well, he's a white or white coming up. We can, I can stand more authority early in the fight. If Cal can start to move him around a little bit and pick, pot shot him, it could it could change the well, you've seen him the fight. you've seen him on the stage today does it does it look like to you that it's a middleweight fight and a welterweight no right what does it look like evenly match white and yeah. that's why no matter it doesn't matter what you know yeah. what the what the numbers say Kelbrook might be a, a welterweight but if you see him stood on stage six weeks away from this fight bearing in mind they're both training hard they're both dieting yeah. what's the size difference not a great deal no, if there's any yeah. so realistically. Golovkin's a smart fighter. Is he really going to be thinking that he's going to be pushing a welterweight back in the ring on September the 10th? Oh, of course. I understand where you're coming from. I mean, in terms of the the um, the stage of this fight, now, Cal's gone over to America. He's fought Porter in his own backyard. He's going to have his own screaming fans here now. He's used to that. Now, is this something that Gennady Golovkin's got to got to get used to no because he's, he's, he's a seasoned pro just like Kel is you know we talk about the fear factor we're not saying that you know Kel's scared you've got to have fear when you went to a fight you've got you've got to anticipate what's going to happen you know and Golovkin you know he was asked a question and he said I'm not scared of anybody Kel's not scared of anybody yeah. but you have to have an element of fear because that's what fear is what motivates you mm. if, if you're not you, you're not you know fearful anytime you go into a ring with anybody yeah. you've got yeah. to have the edge the element of fear because that's what keeps you sharp and focused that's sharp and focused so it's not gonna it's not going to phase Golovkin you know he's been all over the place in box he's, he's been in, in, in Russia or whatever he's been in, in Monte Carlo and Fort he's been in America yeah. you know he's 30 I think he's 36 years old is he 34, 36 whatever he is you know Kel's 30 they've been all over they've been boxing for years so you know fans are going to come to watch a spectacle of fight they're going to be people you know English fans supporting Golovkin you know it's going to work both ways it's just when you're in that ring to be honest apart from the first three rows you don't see anything you might hear the yeah. crowd but you, you, know, you have to be switched on and focused on what's coming at you. Yeah, I mean, fight night. You said about the weight similar. 
the rehydration on fight night. Now, obviously, the cow, I don't want to get too big because it take away, may take away your speed. What kind of rehydration are you looking for cow to do up after the weigh-in? There's a protocol of an ideal fighting weight for Kill Brook, mm. uh, just like this for, for, for Golovkin. You know, he's not going to go into the fight carrying unnecessary weight. He's only going to go into the fight carrying usable weight. Yeah. It's all been calculated. We're work, working with Sheffield Hallam University, strength and conditioning. We've got a good hydration program. We've had it for a good couple of years, so we know exactly what we're doing. Yeah. You know, for Kel to weigh in at uh, 10 stone 7, yeah. does his check weight the next day maybe 11, 11 2. By the time he gets into the ring as a welterweight, he's 11 10. Yeah. So, you know, he's going to be a similar weight, 11 10, 11 12 maybe, you yeah. know, when he goes into that fight. He's going to be in, a, in a, a weight where he can carry the weight around the ring for 12 rounds and utilise his power. Yeah, I mean, Carl's set a standing now, moving up two weights. Now, a lot of people have called for Golovkin to go and take on Andre Wood. I know Andre's moved up a weight, but is that a fight you want to see happen? I mean, and do you see Andre Ward as one of the guys who can beat Golovkin? Um, it's not a fight I look at. I don't look any further than the guys that um, you know, the guys that I train or were they fighting. I don't look at you know should Golovkin be fighting Ward or whatever. I'm only interested in the fighters that I train or could possibly be fighting. You know, right. you know, you got to concentrate on what you're doing. Don't mm -hmm. spread yourself too thinly. You know, there's, lo there's lots of fighters and, and fight fans and boxing trainers who like to watch every single thing. Yeah. But a lot of it's not relevant. It only becomes relevant when you have to fight that guy. And that's when you need to do your homework. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they've done in the past, what they're going to do in the present, it's what's going to happen on the night. And it's the same with Golovkin. You know, I've been in big fights before. Uh, I've, been, I've been around big fights. Nazim Hamid, you know, realistically, Nazim Hamid was in big fights. When he went in against Robinson, he moved it from super bantamweight to featherweight. Everybody said he was going to be too big for Naz, too mature, too strong. Naz never boxed anybody. Naz schooled him that night and knocked him out. Yeah. You know, Mike Tyson, 15 and a half stone, 16 stone heavyweight, knocking out guys two and three stone everywhere, heavier. Eventually got beat. Mm. Nazim Hamid got beat by a, a washed up Barrera. Yeah. So, you know, everybody has the day. Is, is Golovkin past his best? Has he not been tested enough? You know, there's lots of questions that you're only going to find out on the night of the fight. Yeah. And, you know, his power's getting him through at the minute. You know, I'd say his power's better than his boxing ability. He's a good boxer, but he's very, very strong. Cole yeah. Froch, a very, very strong fighter. You know what I mean? Go out there and have a tear up. That, yeah. That's the fight I'd like to see. You know, yeah, I think Froch against, like, if, if you were asking me what fight would I want to see, Ward or Golovkin or Cole Froch, I'd like to see Cole Froch because yeah. that'd been a cracking fight. Yeah. That'd have been a, that'd have been a fight I'd really like to see. Yeah. I appreciate your time. All the very best for the fight.